Welcome back, everyone. You know Khloe Kardashian from the reality series Keeping Up with the Kardashians, as well as from her retail and fashion businesses. That's right. What you may not know is that she suffered from migraines since she was in the sixth grade. Khloe has now partnered with Biohaven Pharmaceuticals, the maker of an FDA approved migraine medication called Nurtec ODT. I talked to Chloe earlier about this partnership, as well as everything from parenting during the pandemic to Kanye West's presidential run. We are so excited to say we're joined now by Chloe Kardashian herself. Chloe, welcome to the show. We are so excited to talk to you. Fans of the show, including so many of us here at Cheddar, know you've talked about your migraine pain openly. Talk to us about some of your personal experiences and the relief you're now experiencing with Nortec ODT. Well, I have been a migraine sufferer since I have been about 12 years old. And, you know, I kind of suffered in silence because there's this stigma that, oh my gosh, it's just a bad headache, sort of get over it. And no one in my family has ever experienced migraines. Um, and so it was really difficult for me, especially being so young, trying to figure out, I guess, what was wrong with me. Um, I started seeing neurologists when I was younger and I figured out that I do suffer from pretty extreme migraines. And my personal migraines are really debilitating. Um, I have impaired vision. I get incredibly sick and ill and I'm basically just incapacitated and I can't really do much. Um, I was given Nurtec ODT as a sample and I started using it. It's a dissolvable tablet and it uh, gives me a little relief in about 15 to 20 minutes, but then full relief in about an hour and I'm able to take back my day. And, um, Having that that works for me, it's been a game changer, especially now having a two-year-old. And um, and so I really just wanted to spread the word and talk about Nurtec ODT and talk about that I really think people should go meet with their doctors if they're suffering from this disease that over 40 million people suffer from, a lot in silence. And I think if people have more questions or want more information, they go to takebacktoday.com. There's a forum and a community where you can talk about your migraines, or you could read my story and other people's stories, and I just don't want people to suffer in silence anymore. I'm so glad you mentioned takebacktoday.com. I was just on the site. So much useful information there where you shared your stories. And I think you're right. A lot of people do suffer in silence. You mentioned True. Can we talk about her? She's so adorable. You've shared pictures throughout quarantine. How has it been co-parenting during a pandemic? You know, I think just parenting alone during the pandemic is new for so many people. It's, we're getting a lot more time with our kids. I personally, I love, love, love it, but I have such an immense respect for people like my sisters. I see them parenting and trying to educate, you know, kids of so many different ages. And I just, that is so much and teachers, everything, they deserve so much praise. But I will say Tristan has been so great during this time. Um, he's not in Cleveland currently because of the pandemic and he's been so helpful and it's been really nice to have such a good relationship where we can co-parent so easily. I come from, um, my parents were such great friends even after their divorce and my stepdad and my real dad, they were awesome. So that's just kind of who we are in this family. We just, we make it work and we, I think lead with love or we try to. It truly shows, Chloe. What has it been like continuing to film season 18 of Keeping Up with the Kardashians during these very strange times and having to self-shoot these interviews from home? Well, it's definitely been different. And um, I think so many people who are in the TV world or now people have to even work from Zoom or Skype. So this is sort of our new current normal. Um, but it's all a, an adjustment and a transition. And it definitely, at the beginning, you're not motivated. You have to self-motivate. Normally there's a film crew and lighting and this, so you know what you're gearing up for and having to put, you know, your phone on a tripod and film when you're, we're quarantined ourselves. It was just different. And we're like, well, who do we film with? That's me and a two-year-old, but you get it. You start to get into the flow and you realize this is your new normal. And then shooting our interviews on our own or from Skype and, you know, the lighting director is teaching you how to light your own room. It's, it was, it's kind of fun at the same time. And it was a cool experience, but, you know, hopefully things will get back to normal soon or there will be just a new normal. And I'm just waiting for that day, I guess. 
All of us are uh, all of us are experiencing this together, watching and following your family during this pandemic. I have to ask you about your brother-in-law, Kanye West. He's officially filed as a presidential candidate with the FEC. He's now even on the ballot in Oklahoma. Tell us more. Is he serious about running? You know, I don't really speak on my other family members. All I do is I love and support, and I know Kanye is so innovative. He's so smart. Um, and I'm just proud of anything that he does, but I don't really speak on my other family members. I allow them to do the speaking. Can I just ask you about style? If Kim was first lady, what do you think her first lady style would be? Oh, well, I think, I mean, Kim with style, she has that down pat. I definitely take a lot of my <laughs> style inspiration from her. So I think she would be elegant and fabulous, but that's her day to day is just fabulous. So. <laughs> I mean, that would be fun for me to see, for sure. For all of us. And your sister, Kim, is pursuing a law degree. She's been instrumental in getting clemency for inmates who were given too harsh of a prison sentence. Would she ever consider running for office? You know, I don't know. Again, that's something I think you can ask her. I, in my family, I have learned to never say never. Um, I think it's anything is possible. But um, I'm so proud of her. And during this quarantine, my sister has been using this time to study overtime for the bar exam. And I'm so proud of her. And I mean, she's just been such an inspiration for me seeing, you know, she has so many other jobs, four kids, her husband, everything. And she still is studying about like 10 to 12 hours, every, five days a week. It's really crazy. And I'm so proud of her. It's really incredible what all of you have on your plate and managed to do so successfully. Really, I'm in awe of all of you, especially because businesses have been hit hard due to the coronavirus. Your family is a multi-million dollar brand full of entrepreneurs. Who has been keeping up with these hard times maybe the best? And how do you plan on maybe recreating your business? Do you have to while all of us are going through this pandemic? You know, it's definitely hard for everybody. I think me being in the fashion industry and uh, my clothing line, Good American, it definitely has been hit. I mean, retail is just, it's not the same right now, but you have to adjust and you have to just go with the times. And I think we're all just trying to figure it out. Um, but I think especially trying to save as many jobs as possible within your company, it's people just see, I think, things in the forefront, but there's so many people behind the scenes that work their tails off and are so committed and so great. And we're just trying to find ways to save as many jobs as possible within my personal company and try to readjust. And you just, it's a learning process and a learning curve for all of us. I don't know how to say that with the rest of my sisters, they have their different learning curves, but I know for me in, in fashion, it's definitely been a huge adjustment and scary for sure for so many people. Chloe Kardashian, thank you so much for your time. Again, a lot of fans here in the Cheddar Newsroom. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.